What is up guys? I'm Einstein Pong, a mechanical engineering student studying in Taylor's University, Malaysia. Today is... Oh, no watch here. Your boy just survived a hectic week and right now it is the weekend. Wonder how my hair got from that to this? Prepare some footage for you, so check it out. I hope my hair looks fine to you because today is haircut day. My mom absolutely loves to tease me during my haircut days. She'll be like, Ah, Atai, your hair here got beaten by dog, is it? <laughs> Something like that. So before I actually cut my hair, I'm just going to call my mom right now to see her reaction. I'm just going to film evidence down on how evil she is trying to mock her own son on getting a very good haircut done. Alright. Excited? Me too. So see you. Going to call my mom right now. Hi. Hi Ma. Hi. Hi Ma. Hi Dad. Hi. Okay, no, because I tell you something. Okay,那個,那個公婆,呃,你知道嗎?你知道嗎? Yeah, we, we are speaking in Cantonese, alright? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, kids, please don't gamble, but we are going to do it right now. Hoi Tau, no, no, go again, you see that. Okay, for me, for her, she's My mom thinks that I need three hours to get my hair done. <laughs> see, what I told you, what I told you. <laughs> Filming with my iPhone right here and this is how my home barber shop looks like. Wow. Just going to show you my tools. These are my scissors. This is my clipper and this is my shaver. To cut your own hair, it is essential to have a mirror as well as a back mirror. But I'm going cyberpunk and this is how I do it. Just going to use my camera to live stream myself for cutting the back areas. Also, I'm actually calling myself via Google Meets on video call so I can see myself cutting my own hair. Walking through the door of the soul down lonely Place that used to feel like us Remembering the only thing that made me Feel like I was worth the love We used to hold hands, now I dance alone We had Springsteen playing so loud We danced in the dark till it felt like home With you homewards and And there you go! That's my hair. This is before styling any products, of course. It took me only 1 hour and 53 seconds. And my parents all bet like 2 to 3 hours. And Mom and Dad, if you're watching this, remember, send food over, okay? <laughs> you lost! Ha! A fresh cut on a Friday night kick starts a fresh start for the weekend. It is 10 a.m. right now. I slept a little bit more on weekend. I'm actually trying to develop a new habit where whenever I wake up, I'm going to do some mats. Besides my body, I need to train my brain, right? Brain is also a muscle after all. I need to really polish my mats and make attempting mats question as seamless as possible. That's going to be the first major task of the weekend. Let's get started. The more you do it now, the better the foundation you have. And in the end, when you really need all these knowledges, you can make a connection. When you understand it well enough, you are in a way unlocking endless possibility. And this kind of possibility is where creativity really really comes. At the meantime, I actually got hungry. <laughs> yeah, so I ordered some food and I went out to collect my food. Did you know that with the proper tools, you can actually make a tail at home as well? Even with a treat one my law like this one. It's around 5 right now, I've been grinding for a few hours already. So I decided to have a lengthy break. 
However, as a barista, I actually ran out of coffee at home. That's why today we're going to make some Milo. Milo. Uh, that's why we're going to make some Milo latte today. Some of the tools you actually need is feature like this one, and a French press, and any ordinary cups at home, and we are good to go. wanted to film a little bit more here but I also realized that hey the sunset is actually quite nice so I decided to use my camera to take some time lapse instead. So keep calm and enjoy the time lapse I've shot for you guys. <laughs> sharing of the week. Let's talk about building habits. If you watched my previous video, you'll understand that I was actually reading this book called Deep Work during my semester break. I learned one thing from it, I'm going to try it myself and I encourage you, the viewers, to actually try it with me as well. The idea is to visualize your habit. The concept is very easy, just take out any paper. I'm just going to use my iPad for here. I named the method the string theory. If you know, you know. The idea behind the string theory is that you just need to write down one habit you want to develop every day. So I remember I would love to actually do maths two hours every day, first thing in the morning. So I'll just write maths. The idea is to just connect the strings. Today I would love to like work out one hour. I will just write out work out one hour. These are all the habits I want to build. So the string theory is that you are just going to connect all the habits you want to build in one line. Connect all the bad habits you are doing on another string. By the end of the month, you can actually visualize your whole progress of the month. You can see yourself what have you been working on? What have you not been working on? Therefore, when you look at the positive string, you're like, wow, this is my growth. I see myself growing. Uh, whenever you see the negative string, you're like, oh, damn, that is too bad. I shouldn't have done that. And therefore, it provides you a motivation to start changing. I'm going to do this string theory thing from today onwards. I'm initiating this hashtag string theory. So tag me on Instagram or something like that, all right? Next week is going to be exciting. I have a shoot coming up. It's gonna be fun. Until then, see you next week, I guess. So, as always, Fleming out.